flagofdoheed.com بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Here's a story of one of the companions of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم whose name was Ka'ab ibn Malik The story that we can breathe to you the fruits of, of it we can breathe you the lessons that we can take from the whole story is to be honest and truthful and to speak the truth. Kaab and Malik narrated about his story that he lacked from joining the army of the Prophet who was supposed to be given to uh, going to Tabuk. Ka'ab bin Malik was one of those who gave the pledge bay'ah to die for the sake of Allah when Uthman radiallahu anhu was kidnapped, was taken by the people of Mecca. Then the Prophet ﷺ and the Muslims thought that Uthman got killed and they made bay'ah on death. That means to sacrifice the utmost they can in order to bring back Uthman bin Affan. So Ka'ab bin Malik was one of them. But unfortunately Ka'ab bin Malik was not one of those uh, who fought the Kuffar in Badr. He was not one of them, but he was very happy, thinking that it was a great significant thing that he was one of those who gave bay'ah to the Prophet ﷺ to die for the sake of Allah. But the question is why Ka'b Malik was not able to, to participate in Badr? Because the Prophet and the Muslims went out from Medina not for the purpose of war but they heard that Quraysh had a big trade, convoy trade going to Damascus and the Prophet wanted it as spoils because now it's a state of, it's a state of war between the, uh, uh, the leader of the new Islamic state in Medina and the Kuffar in Mecca. It's a, it's a declared war now between them. So the Prophet was on his way to take this convoy. For sure, Quraysh have been taking a lot of properties and lands and houses from the Muslims. It had been spoiled by Quraysh. To the extent that Suhaib was a very rich man in Mecca. And he had to immigrate to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in Medina. Now people said to him, Where are you going? He said, I'm going to Medina. Joining the Prophet Sallallahu They said, just like that? You came as a poor person and you became rich in Mecca. And you think we're going to leave you just like that going to Medina? Joining Muhammad? We're not going to leave you doing that. He said, what if I give you an offer? <coughs> I leave to you all my property. 
If I knew that, will you accept or agree to release me? Going to Muhammad, they said, yes. If you do that, yes. Leave to us all what you have. And you can go to Muhammad. He said, that's a deal. Muhammad is more valuable than all what I have. And he left them. And he went to Medina. The Prophet ﷺ did not say, how dare you did this economically? You are supporting your enemy economically. <coughs> this is an economical support to your enemy. He did, he, the Prophet did not say that. He said, your deal is successful, Your deal was successful. So, in uh, um, uh, concerning the fight of uh, the Ghazwa of Badr, Kaab al Malik was not able to do it because he didn't know that there would be a fight. They went to get the convoy, to get the, uh, the, the, the uh, convoy, and uh, suddenly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had destined that the Muslims will be meeting their enemies without appointment. There was no appointment. SubhanAllah. And by Allah's grace and favor, 300 were able to overcome more than 3,000 among the enemies of Allah. He said regarding Ghazwa Tabuk, now the Prophet ﷺ was making a big preparation for Ghazwa Tabuk. Tabuk is a, is a place between uh, uh, today in the peninsula, between Jordan and Saudi Arabia. He said, my case was this, Wallahi, I was not mostly capable and I had all the facilities. There is no time that I had the capability and the facilities more than this time. Wallahi, I have never had two kettles for my trouble except at that time. Everything was easy. So he said, and I had no reason for this. Now he confessed his sin. He said, the Prophet ﷺ never made a ghazwa, but he used to be making the other one, the preparation of the other one, the, or the next one, secretly, except for ghazwa tabuk. He announced it, and he told everybody to make their utmost preparation for it. <coughs> and uh, a lot of people joined the Prophet ﷺ, the army, the Prophet of the, the, the army of the Prophet. A lot of people. So he said, it was most dislikely that if anyone want to skip himself away from the army, we know that he won't be able to be known unless Allah reveals something concerning him. Because there is no one to register the names of the participants in the war. No one. So, at that time, it was very hot, just like this time now. You know, June, July. Oh my goodness. I received a call from my son two or three days ago, that it is almost 55 degrees. Now, you know what it means, 55 degrees? We need to have a fan here, despite the temperature is what? 20. 23? Ah, 23 is the winter in Saudi Arabia. The winter is 23. So at that time, it was very hot. And you know, when it's hot, that means the fruits and the vegetables and the things are ripe. So people need to incline, to sit down, to lack. They don't want to go out. It's not easy. So I was making some preparations 
And I was saying to myself, I can make it, it's easy. Then I heard that the Prophet started to take his way with the army. And I was saying to myself, I'm able to do that, inshallah. Time by time, the devil was delaying him, as the devil delays one of us when it comes the time of the prayer. Huh? 